Hi, Megan Fetty here. I thought I'd go through the basic alignment of Pars Vokanasana or extended side ankle pose. Common pose in many yoga classes and there's quite a few things you can think about when coming into this position. So I'm going to start from a lunge position with my right leg back behind me. When you bring the back heel down to the floor, I'm going to step the right foot out to the right a little bit. Keeping the front knee bent, my left elbow is going to come onto that left knee. So the back leg is straight, left knee bent. The right arm swings forward. So from here, key things you want to think about are the front knee tracking straight ahead over those toes. So try not to let it tip in or out to the side. You want to push down through that back right heel and be active in the back leg. So try not to have the knee bent. You can push through that leg. We're not leaning as far forward as we can. We're looking for a nice line and a stretch through the side of the body. You can press into that left elbow and use that to help lift the right side of your rib cage up. Sometimes people look up towards the ceiling, but that's quite hard on the neck. So often I'll look down towards the floor. It's one of the most gentle options for the head. It's the most neutral position for the spine. You also want your right thumb up and pinky down. So that's the arm that's up here. That allows your shoulder to roll forward, moving it into a safer position. And you can focus more on stretching through that right side of the body. To come back down, I bring both hands to the floor, lifting up my back heel so I'm back in the lunge. And you can step forward into a forward fold and make your way up. If you're trying this at home, make sure you try the other side. So there's some of the key steps to Parswakanasana or extended side angle.